Hello everyone. My name is Anita Singh, your science teacher from Sri Rama Bharti Public School. Today I will explain few topics from force and friction. So let's start. Today we'll start with fluid friction. First of all, what are these fluids? Liquids and gases, they are known as fluids. So these fluids exert force of friction on all objects moving through them. Means whatever objects are moving through these liquids and gases, they are exerting force on them. This frictional force, which is exerted by fluids, is called drag. The frictional force, which is exerted by fluids, is called drag. And this drag depends upon the shape, material, and the speed of the object. Now, fluid friction is minimum for the objects that are narrow in front and broad at the back. And this type of shape is called streamlined shape. Again, I'm repeating, fluid friction can be minimized by a different type of structure or shape, which is narrow in the front and broad at the back. And this is called streamlined shape. Streamlining reduces drag, enabling the object to pass through them easily. Now we will see few of the examples. Now you have seen the structure, or we can see the shape of a boat or a ship. The ships and the boats, they all are having streamlined bodies. Boats and ships have streamlined bodies to help them to move through the water. In the same manner, aeroplanes, helicopters, they have streamlined bodies to cut through air easily. Now, what are the advantages of friction? Now, friction play a very important role in our life. Like we can see that is a friction only between our feet or we can say the footwear, the sole of our shoes and the ground or we can see the surface which helps us to walk without slipping. Because we know if the water is there on the floor or very smooth polished surface is there, then there are more chances to slip. Now the friction between the, tier, the treaded tires, the friction between the treaded tires and the rough surface of the road enables vehicles to move safely on the road. Friction between the brake shoe and the wheel slows down or stops a moving vehicle. And friction between a pencil or a pen and a paper help us to write. Otherwise, you know, it is very difficult to write on a smooth surface like plastic or glass, right? So here we can see the friction help us in many ways. We are able to lift a matchstick, right? We are able to sew the clothes. We are able to fix a nail on the wall, all due to the friction. Now we can see there are many advantages of friction, but there are few disadvantages also of friction. The, advan the advantage of frictions are many, but the disadvantages are like the friction wears out the rubbing surfaces like screw and the ball bearing of machine. And we know they also wear out the soles of the shoes. We all know friction always generates heat and this heat it raises the temperature of a machine, sometimes causing the damage to its part also. Now, how to increase friction? We use different techniques to increase friction. First of all, we can increase the roughness of the surface. We can increase the roughness of the surface. Threaded tires of vehicles have designs and patterns with grooves on their surface to increase the resistance with the road. This prevents skidding. The soles of shoes are also made with grooves to give a good grip on the ground. If the surface is dry, sand and gravel is thrown on slippery surfaces, then it increases friction. And use brake pads. We increase friction by using brake pads in the brake system. Now, how we can reduce friction? In some situations, however, friction is undesirable and we have to reduce it also. First of all, by polishing the surface. When you polish any surface, it will reduce the unevenness and make them smooth. Second thing, lubricating the surface. When we will lubricate any surface with the oil or water or grease, then it will form a layer of lubricant there. 
right? It will form a layer of lubricant there. And so the friction is now between the surfaces will less. Using wheels and ball bearings, it is easier to roll an object than to slide. So we can use wheels and ball bearings to convert sliding friction into rolling friction, which will reduce the friction between two contact surfaces and also help to save the energy. Now streamlining. Just now we have seen the shape of the boat, ships, vehicles, aeroplanes, rockets. They always reduce the uh, fluid drag. So this is how we can reduce friction. So this is all for today and it's time to say goodbye.